Lesson 18. Active and passive verbs. One of the interesting things about our language is the great variety in which it expresses ideas. You have seen how many different times can be shown by the tenses of verbs. Now you will see another way in which verbs help you say exactly what you have in mind. Suppose that a window has been broken. If you know who broke it, you can say something like this. My little brother broke the window yesterday. But suppose you don't know who broke it. Or suppose you don't want to say who broke it. Then you might say, the window was broken yesterday. In the first sentence, the subject tells who performed the ag action. When the subject performs the action, the verb is said to be active. In the second subject in sentence, the subject tells what received the action. When the subject tells the receiver or the result of the action, the verb is said to be passive. The word passive means acted upon. The passive form of the verb is made by using the form of be with the past participle. Here are some examples. Megan has finished the project. Chris has shown the slides. The store will add the tax. Now the same sentences but in passive form. The project has been finished by Megan. The slides have been shown by Chris. The tax will be added by the store. Find the direct objects of the sentences labeled active. What happened to them in the sentences labeled passive? Only verbs that have objects or transitive verbs can be changed from active to passive. A verb is active when its subject performs the action stated by the verb. A verb is passive when its subject names the receiver or the result of the action stated by the verb. Now you're ready to do the exercise on page six of this assignment.